As we mentioned, farmers descended on Canberra today, voicing a whole range of concerns from Labor's phasing out of live sheep exports to the impact of transmission lines and so-called green projects taking over prime farmland right across the country. There was even a bit of argy-bargy between a farmer and Nationals leader David Littleproud over water buybacks. I don't write one word you say. I'm sorry. Well, let me tell you what I did for the Murray Darling. No, well, let me say. tell you, you yeah, got the Northern me. Basin Review. We saved 70 gigalitres being taken out of the Northern Basin, my own home community. So I'm happy to stand here every day of the week and tell you what I did as a water minister and the reforms I put in place. Well, I don't think you're supposed to really get into the argy bargy with them, but I caught up with the National Farmers Federation President, David Jahinke, and asked what he thought of today's turnout. Well, first of all, we've had farmers, you're quite right to say, from around the nation, from Queensland to Western Australia, Northern Territory to Tassie. And that's a fair effort for individual businesses to take time off of their, their farms, take time out of their fields and looking after their livestock and crops to come to Canberra and show their frustration at the current avalanche of bad ideas that's, that's going to affect the future of agriculture, let alone the confidence of farmers moving forward. Yeah, some, uh, some came from Western Australia to Canberra, obviously desperate to save their own live sheep export industry. Absolutely. The issue around the live export of sheep by uh, um, sea has been one of the catalysts behind the key frustrations of agriculture. And it's not from the fact that agriculture has evolved. We've seen some horrendous footage in the past over seven years ago and the industry's invested millions of dollars to clean up its act. And now we are the world leaders in animal welfare in this trade. And the, the reward for doing that hard work, the, the fact that Australian agriculture has invested so much is that it still will get cancelled. So our concern is not only for that live sheep industry and the way it has been treated, but also what next is on the chopping block? What other issues that um, if the government of the day or if a deal will be done, will be cancelled? It's extraordinary, a government looking at cancelling export industries. Sheep, coal, gas, you name it, they want to scrap them. Now, there are a bunch of other issues concerning farmers around the country. Renewable energy rollouts is a big one. Lots of threats from the Greens when it comes to diesel fuel rebates. There was a bit of argy-bargy with David Littleproud too over water buybacks. Just how angry are farmers around the country? Well, for starters, Australian agriculture is probably one of the mo most progressive sectors globally as far as adopting new technology, being world leaders in creating innovative ways to become more uh, uh, effective in the climates that we work with. So Australian agriculture and Australian farmers are some of the world's best. But when it comes to issues around water usage, when it comes to issues around red tape and um, even just the, the environment that we find our businesses operating with, the frustration is real. And Water is just a classic example of communities being decimated by a policy that can be done far better if we embrace some of the projects that should and could be done to effectively use the environmental water that is already in the system. And for us, we want to exhaust all options before we take water out of communities. Now, you, of course, are represented by politicians right across the country. No matter how remote someone's area is, there's still federal representation there. So why the need to go to Canberra? Do, is there any sense that the Liberal or National or the Coalition parties aren't doing enough to bring this to the attention of the Labor government? Or is more more about your, your fears of the Green agenda dominating with Labor? Well, first of all, it is the responsibility for every politician in our grand house of, of government to stand up for what is the right thing to do. And the right thing to do isn't about doing a deal to get more votes. It's about ensuring that the industry progresses and moves, into, uh, moves forward, adopts the latest technology and becomes more efficient. That's what Australian farmers are good at doing. But what we fear is that um, the current government is not engaging as much as it should. And this is also a warning to potential future governments that Australian farmers have had a gut full of not being listened to. And whoever's in the seat of power needs to make sure that we are their key stakeholder when it comes to agricultural issues or regional communities, because we are the backbone of those, those economies. We are the backbone and the lifeblood of those regional areas. And we need all policy politicians to understand that if you kick farmers enough, if you don't respect or understand our points of view, 
We will make our voices heard and we don't take coming to Canberra lightly. We'd rather be in our fields once again looking after our, our livestock, our pastures, our crops. We don't want to be in Canberra protesting, but if that's what it takes to get the attention, if that's the, 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 what we have to do to get the attention of politicians, we'll do it. But what we'd rather do is tell our good story to the community, tell our story to the consumers about how we're actually improving the situation in all types of um, commodity, in all types of practices, in all, all parts of the, the nation. So for us, it is as much of putting the politicians on notice, but also connecting with consumers to let them know of the hard work that we do daily. Yeah, good on you, David. We'll certainly keep focusing on some of these issues you're focused on, uh, but I do have a feeling you might need to get down to Canberra again. That's just the way these things are. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for the opportunity.